Hey, good evening, guys. Welcome to another episode of Randy's Reigns. Uh, it is September 14th, 10.47 at night, and it is my birthday. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. I really don't like saying I don't like celebrating my birthday, especially at work. All day today, people are like, oh, happy birthday. Last year, nobody knew because I didn't tell nobody. It only takes one person to find out and everybody says it. But, you know, doesn't mean I'm not grateful for the year, you know. I'm not going to be grateful this one day. Nah. I'm going to be grateful every day. Every day I'm going to be grateful that I'm here. Because I'm going to tell you this. Why am I only going to celebrate one year? That one day that makes the year. Me, you got to count all your blessings. The small blessings. If you're grateful for your small blessings, you're going to be grateful for that big blessing. You know? If you want a million dollars, you can't have a million dollars without, without being grateful for the one dollar. You can't be grateful for the one dollar if you're not grateful for the pennies. See what I mean? You have to be grateful for the small things. So the small things lead up to the big thing. The small blessings lead up to the blessings. Those small pennies lead up to the million dollars. It's, it's just at least that's my point of view. How I see things. It's made it's made more sense. Where it's made me be grateful for everything, every little, every little fucking thing, every day. I'm gonna be grateful. All right, but too many of us want a big blessing without being grateful for the small ones. You know, we have so many small blessings out. We're only grateful for big ones. You know, you want a million dollars, you get a million dollars, but then next, you know, because you have no great, because I feel you have no value or at least any gratefulness for the small. I don't believe it. Uh, it's possible that you probably don't, you know. You won't have a million dollars that fast, but I, but it's my belief, you know, once you're grateful, once you really understand the smaller stuff, it's like it, it does something else to your life. You know, that's why you can't just count this one day for me. I, I, I'm grateful every day, every day. I'm grateful. All right, because majority of deaths doesn't come when like, oh, you know what, you're going to die on this age of the birthday. No, we all die. A lot of people die within the year. So it's already past their birthday or before their birthday. You know, be grateful for every day, every fucking day. But since it is my birthday, I've been getting fat today. Ate a whole bunch of food, a whole bunch of asada, a whole bunch of fucking ice cream cake, chocolate with peanut butter, chocolate chip cookie, ice cream cake, so many ice cream cakes, man. Oh, fuck. But it's crazy because tomorrow's going to be my nephew's birthday. His birthday's tomorrow, which is, which is funny. Mine's today, his is tomorrow. One of these days, we're going to have to have a big old party. I'm going to have to invite his ass. Uh, he can't drink because he's barely like five or six, something like that. But when he finally gets 21, we'll party. We'll party. We'll party hard. All right. But got this uh, nice little Fox coffee cup. You know, anybody, if you guys know me, I love coffee. And I love having a collection of stuff. And especially one of the things I'm going to start collecting are these Godzilla action figures. Because I'm a huge fan in Godzilla. The Japanese, the old Japanese are fucking dope. Those are some of the new ones I want to uh, I wanna buy. But right now, this is what I got. So it's pretty dope. This is off the, the new movie that came out. I don't know if it was on that in 2015 or the one that came out, I think, last year. But it is fucking dope. And I'm excited to have it in my uh little office you know i got some new other changes that i'm gonna be doing this be adding some lights here be changing it up a little bit uh we'll see but god willing we'll get it done but uh i would love for for you guys to always carry a book like this like that i always be i believe you should to carry some ideas write down your ideas maybe write down some of your goals they say when you like really write down your goals like it's, it helps to stick to your brain and uh i do find some some positivity in that, and I find some truth to that, because I've done it multiple times, you know, but, uh, definitely, I, I highly recommend, even if that's just the small goals, the, uh, the same concept that to do with the blessings, you know, you, you, you can't reach that big goal, unless you have a whole bunch of small ones, you gotta start small, and work, 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 I mean, we all say, uh, I wanna work 10 million dollars, but guess what, you don't have a, plan to the million so i'd expect to get to the million you gotta start small create a plan oh, i'll make this business oh, i'm gonna do this do this then it starts to grow you know fuck i gotta fucking sneeze i know i got corona motherfuckers either 
It's fucking all this ash fucking falling from the sky because of all these fires, man. The West Coast is burning up. And with it, my allergies. <laughs> no, not really. I still got fucking allergies. But on the other hand, I've been reading Discipline Equals... Uh, Discipline Equals Freedom by Jocko. It is a fucking amazing book, to be honest. And um, what's, there's a lot of positive in this book. I've only gone to the first chapter. I don't want to get through it quick. I like taking my time on books. That way I can take information better. You know, you don't have to read a book in a week. or You know, if that's if you can retain information, cool, do it. But if you're like me, where you won't be able to remember stuff unless you read it in maybe one chapter or half a chapter, do it your way. But as long as you're giving your your, your brain knowledge, unless you get, you're giving yourself all this new knowledge, it's amazing. Go at your pace. You know, you're not in a, you're not in a rush. All right. All right. Like Nipsey says this is a, this is a fucking uh, it's a marathon. It's treated that way, but this is badass, and I love the I love what it says in the back because it's so fucking true. There's no shortcut. There's no hack. There's only one way. So get after it, and it's true, man. If you guys haven't know who Jocko is, Jocko Williams, he's a retired Navy, retired Navy SEAL, uh, fucking badass, fucking beast. Every morning he wakes up like around four, four o'clock, and at by four thirty he's already working out, busting all this, shit, and uh, that's just beast. You know, and for some of us, it's like hard, but the way he, the way he explains it, it's just discipline. You got to find the discipline to do it. You know, don't expect discipline to just come out of nowhere. Don't, don't expect discipline to be just like a, a fuck, like magic. Like it's, I don't know where there, you know, you, you got to work at it. You know, you got to work at it. Like the way right, right here, this is the way it starts. People look for the shortcut, the hack. And if you came here looking for that, you won't find it. The shortcut is a lie. The hack doesn't get you there. And if you want to take the easy road, it won't take you to where you want to be. Stronger, smarter, faster, healthier, better, free. It's true. To reach goals and overcome obstacles and become the best version of you possible will not happen by itself. It will not happen cutting corners, taking shortcuts, or looking for the easy way. There is there there is no easy way. There's only hard work, late nights, early mornings, practice, rehearsal, repetition, study, sweat, blood, toil, frustration, and discipline. Discipline. There must be discipline. That's just one part of the beginning of the book. And um, each episode, I'm always going to say something that, that I like. Especially from the books, the one thing I want to start uh, invoking into my episode, especially if I'm reading a book. If I'm not reading a book and I haven't read the chapters, then I'm, I'm not going to just find some hack that I just saw. No, it will be something I already read, you know, but that first part, man, it's true. It's true. Discipline, man. You, that's, that's, all, that's all you really need, but it's hard. <sighs> some people don't understand that, and it's hard to get discipline. It is. It is hard to be, to be disciplined to, to finally get that thing going. You know, I was disciplined for when I started losing weight. I was so disciplined on my diet and this. And then life happened and then I lost it. I still lost it. I'm still lost. I don't got the discipline as I want. Right now, it's just my discipline is work, 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 work on my goal. But I'm forgetting my goal is also my health. So that, that's definitely one discipline I got to get back. Even if it means working... Um, Getting up early or working out as soon as I get here. But right now, with these fires, I really don't want to work out because, fuck, I don't want to. And I mean, I wake up every morning and my car's just covered in ash. I don't want to. I don't want to put that in my lungs. You know, I, sure, I smoke. But it's different. I'm not s inhaling something that's already been smoking. I'm not inhaling hash. That's just a cause for cancer right there. That's calling for cancer right there. I don't want that shit. All right. But discipline is a key for everything when it comes to school, when it comes to work, health. Discipline is in every aspect in life. You got to have the discipline. You know, you can have, you can be talented in something. You can love playing video games, but it also takes the discipline to stay there for hours. Same for art, drawing. It's a discipline. Being an athlete, the discipline to keep working out to better your body, understand your body. Going to school, completing college, that's a discipline. You know, 
everything in life is a discipline and I feel a lot. We've lost the discipline. We don't know what discipline is. We don't understand the sacrifices that it takes, you know, for that's what really discipline is also your sacrifices. Are you disciplined to sacrifice your free time? Are you disciplined to sacrifice fun times? Are you dis d disciplined to sacrifice or to forget that um, FOMO moment, that FOMO, fear of missing out? That's key. A lot of people can't always want to be in the, in the mix, always want to be in the circle, the inner circle, always want to be part of the group going out every night. Talking about the cheese men, stuff like that. Everybody wants to be part of that. So the moment they start to have anxiety because they're not part of it, they start to feel like they're missing out. That is a fear of missing out. To really disconnect from that, you got to disconnect from everybody, but in a good way. You know, I'm not saying tell everybody to fuck off. Just let everybody know, like, hey, I'm going to need some time alone. I, I'm, I need to get my life together. I don't know what I want to do, you know. But I understand this. Some people are going to like you. Some people are going to hate you. Some people are going to respect you for it. You may even inspire people. You know, I was reading the book, um, The Greatest You. And he was saying on there, he's like, there's some people when you invoke this change, that you're going to lose friends. You're going to lose people who who don't want, who don't see what you're doing. And they're just going to bad math you, you know, try to put that bad seed in you. Others will be like, I get it. We're still, we're cool. You know, and that friendship still dies. Then there's others where the friendship gets stronger because they see what you're doing and you motivate them. You, you inspire them to invoke that change, to be like, you know what? I, I got to pull away too. Let me go do my thing. And he says it there that some of his friendships that uh, he not let go, but when he was figuring himself out, did the same. They stopped going out every weekend. They got the life together. They're better. They grew, they all grew together, even though they were separate. They were separate because each one had to go down their their, their road on their own. That to enjoy their they had to do their life on their own. Made them even stronger because they all grew at the same time. Though yes, they were separated. They didn't see each other, talk to each other as much. But when they re when they came back together, it was like if. You know, which has made the bond stronger because then you all go through your shit and you talk about it and you learn. You learn from him. He learns from you. They learn from you. They, you learn from them. You know? But it also takes discipline. And for me, one thing, one thing I want to start working out again, or for, for me, what really gives me discipline is like when I box, when I wrestle, doing jujitsu. That, that's a discipline because... When you box, when you wrestle, jiu-jitsu, whatever it is, if you're out of shape, you want to get back in a good shape. You want to not get tired fast. You want to be able to last. You want to have this technique. You want to do this. You want to better yourself, you know? And it is in this real world. This is what, or, you know, like the saying goes, a lot of fighters say, iron sharpens iron. Okay? If iron sharpens iron, same goes outside of a fighter's life. The same thing goes in a regular life. You want to grow. You want to better your life. You have to be surround yourself or be with people that want to do the same. Again, it doesn't have to be the same goal. A lot of people that train in some of these MMA gyms aren't fighters. They're just people who like to go. Like me, I've tra I've trained with a few with a few amateur fighters, a few pro fighters, and I'm not a fighter. I'm not even you know. I've never done any of the paperwork, or I've never tried to get to a fight or anything. I ain't a fighter. But I've trained with a lot of them. I've learned from them and they've learned from me. So iron always sharpens iron. Sure, the goals aren't the same. But as long as you're with people trying to better yourselves and have a goal, have a set, have, uh, you know, it can be, it doesn't have to be, you, you know, you both have, to, you all have to have the, the, the same goal. But it's a contradictory in this. You have to have the same goal, but it doesn't have to be the same goal. You know, where um, somebody wants to get a degree over here. This person wants to be a better athlete. This person wants to do this for school. This person wants to be a business. Guess what? They all have the same goal. Better themselves. But they don't all have 
the same goals. You see what I mean? It's the way, the, the, the way it is. You don't have to be... You don't have to hang around with doctors to be a doctor. You don't have to hang around with lawyers to be a lawyer. You don't have to be a bit you don't have to hang around with businessmen to be a businessman. I feel like as long as you all have the same goal to better yourself, to really reach your goal, reach your dream, that's really gonna push you. That's where you guys are gonna grow, because then things happen and you're just you're you're you're, you're intertwined you're, all these uh, uh, logics, ideas, and um, knowledge is just going around you to the point where it, it creates something different, you know. But if all your friends are like that, there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with that either. That's just fucking awesome, <laughs> you know. But I'm just giving my twist too. Where don't think you have to hang around with people that have the same goal as you. That you know, no. You know, just because you know. So, so sometimes. The, the the best people the like the best friends are sometimes people who have like the opposite careers you know I mean let me try to let me try to see if I can think of any any like friends that are way different have different careers but or is this, is the same I would probably think maybe like let me see. Uh, let's see if I can think of any right now. It's hard. Because my mind right now is not for that. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty fucking tired. I want to go to sleep. But, you know, uh, I made you. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm going to save that for my next episode. I'm going to do some research on it. Because I do want to touch it. And as of right now, man, I can really I can't think of anything. But I'm definitely going to save it for, for, for next one. I'm going to cut this one short, guys. Uh. But thank you guys for listening. Uh, I'm gonna sh- I'm gonna record another episode this week, so I'm gonna um I'm gonna upload. I'm probably gonna upload three week- episodes. I got one from last week, so I definitely gotta upload that one. But thank you guys for listening. Greatness is one dead time, and uh, I love you guys. All right, stay safe, especially in these times of fires. But as always, greatness is one dead time, and do not forget, you cannot count the a million dollars without counting every penny. Remember that. That goes for blessings. You can't count the big blessings without counting the small blessings, all right? Love you guys. Greatest one at a time. Let's fucking get it. Let's get out there. Let's get that work done.